what's up what's going on we're back for another video another week has passed in 2021 we're already almost done with february guys and the stock market did, did its thing we're doing our thing we're growing our wealth we're growing our money and in this video i really want to talk to you about number one a portfolio update how we did this week in the market my biggest winner my biggest loser this week some new moves i made some new stocks that i bought and also guys i really want to talk about mindset towards the end of this video and how important it is on our journey to building and growing our wealth okay so we're going to start with checking our robin hood portfolio guys so we're going to go ahead and open it up here and as you can see guys I guess I'm up today. The cryptocurrency just kind of saved me a little bit. I was down, I think, at the end of the day, as you can see here. But I guess Dogecoin is ripping. Maybe, maybe not. I, I'm not quite sure. But as you can see today, I guess, we are up very little, 0.35%. It's kind of like a flat day. But for the whole week, guys, as you can see, we were, were still up 6.03%. This week didn't kill us too bad. We're still up over the month. We're up 47%, um, still three months, guys, up 340%. As you can see, the amount hasn't changed much, okay? Now, let's go ahead and go over some of the new moves that I made this week. Um, I did pick up this right here. I picked up 200 shares of TRIT, guys. Do your due diligence on this company it has been getting beaten down this year it was a SPAC and then it merged with this company Traterris who is a disruptor in the trading space when it comes to commodities and their platform utilizing blockchain technology and filling a 1.5 trillion dollar gap in this market they have their own trading app already Kratos check it out do your due diligence if you like what you see by all means, if you want to create a position, create a position, okay? I am holding this bad boy mid to long term, six months to a year. I'm a patient dude. It takes mindset shift to become a patient dude. It's very challenging though, okay? And we're, we're, and we're, and we're gonna talk more about that towards the end of the video. But this is the move I made this week. I did sell some positions to create capital um, to, uh, to actually buy this position, okay? Um, but oh, and I also created a um, a position in CFII. Okay, I didn't have a chance to talk about this in my last video because it just kind of came up, but I did post it in the Discord, guys. I have a link in the description below if you want to hop in the Discord. Okay, that's where I have a chance to talk about the plays that I'm going to get in before I do. If I can't, it takes time to upload to YouTube. So check the link out in the description. You can follow our plays. We're talking about cryptocurrency in there, how to get into the crypto space. We're talking about option trading, buy and hold, long-term investing, and also educational content so you can continuously learn about investing. You have direct access, voice chat, all the awesomeness. So check it out. Um, but I did get 125 shares in this position, average cost of $11.23. This company is taking a company called View.com Public, View Incorporated. It's super cool, guys, in my opinion, of what they're doing. They have created like these smart windows. And these windows are currently installed in Uber, Google, and a lot of different big name facilities where the windows automatically tint throughout the day as the sunlight comes up, sunlight goes down. It can alter, help keep the temperature in the building at a proper temperature to where it actually reduces energy costs for these big companies, which is huge. They spend a lot of money on utilities, okay? And it also, the, the windows are connected to 5G, connected to the internet, where you can bring up video conferencing calls along the whole windows. You can turn on your TV, Netflix, you can connect all this different stuff to the uh, windows. So, and there are no need for blinds, so that you can cut that cost, no maintenance as far as that. I mean, this is the type of stuff we saw on movies back in the day, guys. Okay, so I really have a feeling that this company can be huge. 
and I've built my position at 125 shares. I'm going to be adding to my position over time because I plan on holding this guy's long term. Long term, at least over a year, maybe two years. Who knows, man? Because this company, I think, can do some big things. And I do have a couple companies in mind that I'm looking at that I'll give to you as a bonus towards the end of this video. Okay, but let's go ahead and continue. My, I think my my biggest loser for the week as far as stocks goes it was TXMD. Um, I did create a position at 227. Probably was caught chasing here, but I had a feeling it was going to run out. But it had a pullback, so I'm down 21%. So yeah, this week down 10.93%. Probably my biggest loser was in my stocks. Um, yep, my biggest loser was TXMD. Uh, my biggest gainer was probably, I really didn't have a big gainer, was maybe BNGO. Not even that for the week. Yeah, this week apparently wasn't that good. I don't know why it's telling me that I'm up. Doesn't really make sense. Oh well, Robin Hood's fluking. But so far guys, I have been pretty consistent on my growth. This is just one account on my route to 100K. I have two accounts that I am combining as far as amounts to get me to the 100K challenge of this year. This account has $11,766. My other one is my Fidelity account. And that one has around 12,000 or $13,000, somewhere around there. In that account, I'm doing a more buy and hold strategy, selling options in that account and things of that nature to create more passive income. But as far as the portfolio update, guys, that's all I have for you for right now. Um, let me go ahead and give you the two bonus stocks real quick before I talk about this mindset stuff because it's very important. But I want to put these stocks on your radar real quick. Um, they're in my SPAC list. So ACIC is one that I'm looking at and they are merging with a company called Archer. Archer is probably the only, they say, the first company to have a fully electrical commercial airplane um, that can make traveling in between cities easier, safer, and faster. So that right now they have a plane that can go 60 miles at 150 miles per hour. So pretty cool stuff. but. If you were if you were to get into this company, it's a long-term hold. You know, it's not up and running right now. They don't have profits or anything like that. But United Airlines did take a stake in their product. I think it was like a billion dollars um, that they decided to set aside for the company or maybe invest if I read it properly. But check out Archer.com and you can read their, their admission. Check out the CEOs. Check out the management team and see what they're all about. The other company I want to show you here is GHVI. Gore's Holding 2. They're <laughs> I was looking at them this morning too, like around 18, 18 bucks. I was going to build a position. As you can see, I should have. This thing has run out. Um, this company is merging with, I forget the name. Um, as you can see, I haven't done too much due diligence, but I plan on doing more. But they're merging with this company that does 3D mapping of spaces of buildings and there's companies like Redfin um, other 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 real estate companies like that use this service to create 3d models of buildings and they say that their their 3d model is better than you actually being in the building you can see things that you wouldn't be able to see by being in the actual building and they say that their um, potential uh, customer base is pretty much every company in the world like all residential areas in the whole wide world so you know it's probably you know they're they're they're, they're probably overextending that but um based off of what i saw as you can see in the chart here they're booming so give this company a look um they they just got on the market as you can see february 1st and they announced boom merging skyrocket so um maybe you know maybe give it some time to cool off and catch his legs and then see where it kind of wants to rest you know, after you after you've done your due diligence, check it out. If it, you know, if it holds true to 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 you and your values and what you want to invest in, by all means, create a position. I'm not a financial advisor, so the decisions you make is all on you. <laughs> all right. Um, but that's enough for the portfolio update, guys. Let's go ahead. I want to dive into kind of you can say the word of the day is money mindset. 
and this is very important, it's something I want you to understand, is that no matter how much money you earn, the level of which your mind can understand, um, that, that is all you will be able to manage. For example, if you grew up in a place where a lot of money wasn't a thing and then like your mind can only understand it and, and be capable of handling maybe like two to three thousand dollars then when someone when you get ten grand you, you will find a way to bring it back down to two thousand dollars I want you to really take a second and just ponder on that okay because it's happened to me multiple times so until I raised my frequency, raised my vibration, raised the information that I'm putting into my system, shifted my whole circle of friends, you know, I was stuck in a place where I didn't really enjoy. But now I'm free of all that, okay? And I enjoy my own company and I, and I enjoy learning different things when it comes to finance, mindset, money, movement, all these things. So. I have expanded, expounded my, uh, my, my, my money blockages that are there. I'm still working on some, but most of them have been uplifted. And, you know, now I can see myself with millions and millions of dollars and, you know, being able to manage it. It doesn't seem so complicated in my mind. So therefore getting to that area or getting to that place will be easier. I, I, I can say, okay. So, Working on money mindset, here are some things that you can do. Read money books. Start to meditate. Start to really look at yourself and start to change the information you're putting into your system. Change the videos you watch. Change the content you look at. Okay? Try not to intake so much negative stuff into your system. Because no matter what you think, you, I mean, it's all being embedded into your subconscious. And you have to be very careful of that. As you do that, you will start to change on the inside. And then your outside will start to change. The people around you will notice you are shifting. As they notice that, some might be down with the shift and ask you, like, oh, you know, what have you been doing lately and things like that, and want to grow with you. And there will be some that will, that will try to pull you back. And you have to stay true to the course. You will lose people along this journey. I have lost a lot of friends, old friends that we do not communicate anymore because they are on a frequency that I do not mesh with, period. That's okay. I still have nothing but love for them, but you have to understand that you have to stay true to your being and elevate, continuously elevate. The goal is to transcend, okay? That's what being a meditative investor is all about, transcending the roar. Okay. So, blessings to you. Until the next one, I don't even think I said. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment. Let me know if you are in any of these plays that I just, that, that I just talked about. Let me know if you've been doing any due diligence on, on these plays already. What plays are you looking at right now? Let me know in the comment section. Let's start a conversation. You know, check out the uh, Discord if you want to join the family. You know, our, I think it's not even open for like two, three weeks. We have, I think, like 23, 25 members in there. So we're growing at a nice, steady, at a nice steady, steady pace. Slowly growing the family. Come join the community. Until next time, Om and Mahalos. Later.